In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your pagination in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. From the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the search appearance link underneath the All-in-One SEO menu. Click on the Advanced tab up top, and then scroll on down to where it says Paged Format. What this does, if you have a lot of content that you've broken down into multiple pages, for example, you're a sneaker store that has 100 sneakers, you probably have that broken down into 10 pages of 10 sneakers. What this will do is add the word page and then the number to the title and description of those pages so that each title and description is unique. So you will have sneakers page one, sneakers page two, etc. You can also change this to say whatever you want. So we could call it viewing page, for example. So it'll say sneakers viewing page one, sneakers viewing page two. And I'll show you an example in just a minute. I'm just going to leave it as page and keep it simple. I'm not going to click save changes yet. If we scroll back up the page, there's a section called no pagination for canonical URLs. The canonical URL is the URL that you tell Google that you want to index when you have multiple pages of similar content. So again, coming back to the sneaker store example, you want Google to index your content for keywords like sneakers for sale, but you want the first page of your sneakers to show up. You don't want them to land on page seven. What this does, and it may be on by default, if it's not, you just use the toggle switch to turn it on, is this will remove the word page and the number of the page that we just set up down here below for the canonical URL. So for that first page of sneakers, it will just say the title of your page, our sneakers, for example. And then when people click through to view all of your sneakers, they'll see our sneakers page two, our sneakers page three, etc. So after you've turned that on, scroll up or down the page, doesn't matter, and look for the blue Save Changes button. Click that and you are done. A great example of this in action is our own blog at aioseo.com slash blog. If you look at the title of the page here, you can see it's blog AIO SEO. But if we scroll down towards where the pagination occurs on this page and go to the second page, the title then changes and gets dash part two appended to it. So to be clear, our plugin does not create pagination. WordPress does that. What it does do is make your paginated pages more optimized for the search engines. So that's how to optimize your pagination in WordPress using the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you click on this next video right over here, we'll show you how to set your SEO title and meta description for your content. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO WordPress plugin, All-in-One SEO.